We were halfway through our Japan trip when we finally suited up to hit the Tokyo Auto Salon. We'd seen pictures of the sprawling mass of cars and people, but didn't have a clue what we'd actually find there. Just roaming the streets and driving the highways was an absolute menagerie of curious cars, trucks, and all sorts of weird vehicles. So going to an expo for the most extreme and meticulously constructed cars seemed like it was going to be an absolute head trip. On arrival, one thing was immediately clear. This was going to be a big deal. Before we went in, we were aiming to spend maybe three to four hours wandering the floors that day. Little did we know how wrong we would be. Here we are, finally here. Holy and, shit. Yeah, it's no joke. They're air riding this uh, 86 in front of us here. This is some very elaborate air kit. Jeez Louise, where to start? Do uh, you want to head from one end of the hall to the other? Man, this guy sounds like he's swallowing the microphone. Holy moly. Based off of Miata? What is this? Uh, it's a Miata kit. Yeah. <laughs> Nightingale. Oh! Oh! <laughs> S660. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh man, I would love one of those. <laughs> oh, it's so Actually, nifty. That kit on the auto looks pretty good. It almost looks like a charger, kind of. Like the well, slash so the cut nose. Like, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Duck's Garden. Okay, let's keep heading to the back. I don't want to get too distracted. Oh, but I would. How could I not? Nisemono no tomodachi. Ore wa iranai. Omae tachi wa kitanai yari kata shika deki nai. Ii omote no tsura. Ura de waruguchi. Ii kagen ni shiro. Ore wa warae nai. いろいろ見た。この目で見た。結局どいつもこいつも見た目だけだ。噂話に振り回されてな。また出回る噂の葉っぱ。大丈夫じゃねえけど大丈夫かも。大丈夫じゃねえけど大丈夫だよ。大丈夫じゃねえけど大丈夫だよ大丈夫じゃねえけど大丈夫だよ生活バランス悲しくするとは逆悪インロック壁一枚浮気な色目ペイバック走り逃げぞる体に言い訳嘘は二つ鉛
One thing that was giving most everyone else pause was the fleet of models every booth had hired to drape over all their cars. Okay. These women and the crowds they drew obscured hundreds of cars over the course of the show and snarled the already difficult foot traffic. We wondered why this was such a huge draw for many of these guys, and questioned some of their aims in shooting all these photos and videos. Yeah, the only thing I think a little stranger than some of the uh, way the women are dressed is just how many people are just standing here taking pictures of them. That, yeah, okay. I give you, I give you that. The leather, um, British, uh, or Union Jack, yeah. Huh. He looks like maybe he's the dude who built that Lexus. <laughs> right, he's not really looking down the barrel. <laughs> now we got here. Yeah, we got here right when the models showed up. Damn it! Well, these are classy women. They drive around in Astons. Yes. While all of the women were lovely looking ladies, they were ruining what could have been some otherwise perfectly good car photos. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Here's the car, and there's what everybody's taking pictures of. This is what I'm saying, man. That's the car. That's what everyone's taking photos of. Look at that guy right there. Just close up with face. At least it's your face. I had come for an auto salon, not a model salon. Why these guys lose their shit? About oh, it. right. I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I had to take a look at this. I absolutely love these little things, and I don't think that they would do very well in America because they're so small, and I'm sure they break all kinds of uh, highway code law. But super cool car or trike. Like if you could give me like a big aggressive version of that that was not as gigantic as a Can Am or the Slingshot, I think it'd be pretty awesome. Garage Z1. So I think most of you are probably familiar with this Tejaya. It is a Skyline body, but as a wagon, which is amazing. Who wouldn't want a fucking wagon if you had the choice, right? That's my take on it, at least. Oh, they got some really nice uh, six-pot calipers, giant two-piece rotor. Another car that I wish to God we had in America. I'm not sure about the blue accent work in the engine bay with the, all the red accent work on the outside, but I guess it's not too bad. I'm going to be uh, sitting down for some kind of a VR experience. I don't know what it is exactly. This one? Okay. Yes. Why? Yes. Okay. Arigato. Oh, there's a waving Japanese thing. Look at with me. I am in a Toyota, essentially. And I am well dressed, and I have lost a significant amount of weight. She lets her hair down. The video games are a lot sharper than this. And this camera got shaken to hell and back. You put on the thing, you're in this nice Toyota SUV, you're on some parkway in Tokyo. And this woman gets in and she goes, hey, let's go for a drive. And you're like, yeah, all right. I have no say in the matter. You start driving and she's like, take a look at your uh, navigation system. And it's like projecting a hologram towards the driver. It's like a live overview of the street in front of you. But it shows, you know, like a circle around a hazard and it flashes yellow. And then she lets her hair down and she's like, well, I feel really safe with you or something like that. And uh, then she's like, let's go for a real ride. And then you end up on a roller coaster. And then you're in some kind of like psychedelic mirror image thing in Tokyo. And then they're like, anyways, this is the future and you're really gonna wanna buy it. Uh, there must be another woman over here because holy shit, look at that. Oh yeah, cowgirl. NWA. <laughs> Yeah, Don, got a mic down. We got illegal.
吹っ飛べるんだったら何でもいいじゃん一回のつもりかまたもう一回どうなっても怒ってる一回こう来たたりで遊んでるだけただのパピーター違うってこときっかけを作ってどこまでも行くしかいいなやっぱちゃかましいがのもだくさまりなはっきりやそういうノリだたちもんだなもはっきり見たサリーから DOGM えっとキバファッケンジャンジャンマニアシェッツ勘違い反せば気出すティンまだ勝てなティンただ勝てたいい枯れてるプーけてるかも「修正不可能」「自己自得だもん」「楽しむだけ刺激求める」「で何がダウンめどっからどこまで」「大丈夫じゃねえけど大丈夫かも」「大丈夫じゃねえけど大丈夫だよ」We were beat, we were hungry, and we were reeling from everything we'd seen. So we decided to take a break and chat real quick. So, this is、uh, the end of Hall 1, I guess. I don't know, it's the first hall we were in.、I'm、not sure what any of them are called, actually. So, what's, what stood out to you? What was memorable? All of the S660s. Yeah, Those things are the I, fucking coolest. I gotta hand it to you there, I completely agree. because... Ross pointed out earlier, everybody knows what a GTR looks like, everybody knows what an 86 looks like. This stuff is not really that new, unless you're doing something totally radical. Nobody really is. It's all the same stuff every time. It's all the same stuff. No offense, but it has been done. You know, it's cool to see some of the 240s, it's cool to see an awful lot of the, like, weird Japanese cars that we just can't get. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think for me, one of the ones that stood out the most was an older Skyline, that was, and it had. <laughs> It had some very elaborate neon light work done in it,、uh, some very elaborate interior that was bright, bright white. I, I wouldn't like drive the car, I would feel like a total ass in it. Yeah, but it's pretty fucking amazing. Like the craftsmanship in it is, is tits.、Uh, oh, that little truck that was like cream, baby blue, and red. That thing was really cool. Yeah, yeah. And the fellow there, I, I can't remember the name of the company that made it. We got a brochure from them, though. They were super friendly. I didn't know we both observed the fact that, like, the throngs of men taking photos of women completely obscured the cars in a number of、uh, circumstances. Dude, it's so crazy. It's. <laughs> I, I'm afraid to say anything because I don't want to be showered with hate. <laughs> it's, I don't、uh, get it in the edit. I'll, I'll just chop together whatever you say anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I hate the culture. It is really bizarre. It's so crazy. I'm afraid I'm an asshole. It's unnerving. <laughs> And there was a fellow walking around in a Nazi uniform, which was a bit weird.、Um, I don't really know what that was about. I got a little bit of video of it. There were swastikas on it. He was Japanese. He wasn't a white guy. Yes. Was a, he was a Japanese guy wearing a Nazi uniform. Yeah, real deal. Anyways, we should get ourselves up and keep moving because、uh, we've got to get our money's worth, and I think there's still an awful, awful lot to see. Thanks for watching. I'm Graham with Minute Rice Channel. Stay tuned for more on the Tokyo Auto Salon.